Hello and welcome to the highlights of the second T20 International for the West Indies against India from Lauder Hill, Florida. Pitch for the game, obviously been used before. A few little wet patches. Looks like a good one to win the toss on and have a bowl. However, Virat Kohli called right and elected to bat. The two teams... Unchanged for India, but the West Indies carry came in for Campbell and Sunil Narayan was moved to the top of the order. So India win the toss and choose to bat. Let's get to the action. Shikha Dawan and uh, Rohit Sharma. The experienced opening pair will make their way to the middle. career for Rohit Sharma averaging in the early 30s over 96 matches and of course his left-handed opening partner Shikha Dawan one of the more experienced players in that lineup as well a slip and a gully All right, gentlemen, let's play. Good start for Rohit and India, a boundary of the first ball. Rohit Sharma quick to seize on that. Lovely wrist from Rohit Sharma, working it with the angle. And for somebody in the kind of form that he's been in, Rohit Sharma, this really was an easy boundary. Nicely played. No effort. Nice. It's the balance and the ease with which he plays these shots. He hit one for six yesterday that had more width on it. That was beautiful. This is beautiful too. Just a little bit of room around the off stump. Not too much. Just a little bit. And that's enough. Quite deliberately playing up over the infield. Easy. Crowd chanting Rohit already. And the hitman delivers. Stylishly played with a minimum of effort. Wonderful to watch. Look at that with a straight bat over mid off. Runs down the track. And beats it. A boundary to end the over. It was a brilliant shot. As you can see here, the replay. Oh, that was easily dispatched. Sometimes you don't need any more invitation or someone like Rohit Sharma. Having a look here, I think that's a, a juicy little full toss. And I think uh, when you have someone like Rohit Sharma, who feeds on, on such deliveries and even better deliveries than that just a little flick of the wrist oh you don't see that too often from Rohit Sharma but he does pull it off uh, being sledged by the king but it's the first wicket Kimo Paul going through the defense of Shikhar Dhawan Speaking about maybe Kimo Pauls hitting the stump on a regular basis, stumps on a regular basis. We saw that yesterday, again today. As straight as uh, he, he bowls, what I think he will be saying in his mind: "You miss, I hit." Great result for for, for Paul. 67 for one. But that brings Captain Coley to the crease, just having a quick word how the pitch is reacting. Someone who watches it quite closely does Virat. Pulled away. And he finds the gap. And it's over the fence as well. Rohit Sharma, he makes batting look so easy. Oh, 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 oh. 
and gets a 50 as well. Well, no stopping this man. What an innings for India. Got 24 in that first T20 international. Showing his class, his consistency. And putting India in control. Yeah, talking about it, he knows it. Goes down the ground. Gets a maximum for himself. This is what he can do when he wants to do. He doesn't do it as often as other players do it. Especially with shots like this. Six more to the Indian total. Rohit Sharma again. Just getting the ball full. Right in the slot. Picks it up over the leg side, Viv. Yeah, well, we were thinking because of what we saw yesterday. Having seen the replay now, right in the slot for someone like Viv Kohl. He's not the biggest ground in the world as well. It's just a little chip and putt. And um, <laughs> it got there in a hurry. <laughs> yeah, a little putt for birdie. This will be four more over the offside this time. Doesn't matter where you hit it. If you're in form, it goes in the gaps. And especially when you ball full piece as well. Oh, straight up in the air. Should be out. There's out. So Rohit Sharma, that blow on the elbow. Really seems to have thrown in. It's been a very good knock. Just his concentration thrown by that blow. Be a bit of a slow ball banged into the pitch. Sharma goes to the big heave ho. Straight up in the air. Hetmeyer makes no mistake whatsoever. Throw it gone for 67. And you lose their second wicket, 115 for two. Rishab Patton is the new man. Oh, a great shot from Cody. Uses his feet, flicks it over mid wicket. Finds the gap in the deep. Here we go, up and down, is it out? Yes, it is. The trick has worked. Short ball to Rissab Pan, tried to guide it up and over, third man. Disappointed first ball dismissal yesterday. You see there, just tried to run it down. Top edge, he's not in control. Aaron Pollard a few yards off the line, expecting the catch. Rissab Pan goes for four from five deliveries. India now 126 for three. Cleaned him up, trying to play across the line. He got him yesterday. He's got him again today. Two Jamaicans, Shane Thomason, now Sheldon Cottrell striking at a critical time, critical batsman. I think he closed the face a little too much. Not that he is averse to doing that, Virat. Again, what the salute is about. Kohli goes for 28, 132 for four. Taken this time, the short one, trying to hike it to the mid-wicket part of uh, the field and only ends up in getting a top edge. I like the short ball as an option for Manish Pandey. He looks to pull and hook off the front foot, head going towards the ball. That is always fraught with danger against someone of good pace. Good change of length from Yorkers to short ball, 143 for five. That's been swung away and will be the maximum. It's taken a while, but at the right time for the Indian team. Occasionally you get that yoke around. It's, it, it's such a, a difficult art in the right area for Krunal Pandya. Third man is up, so you wouldn't think he'd go wide unless he wants to bluff with that yoke. It's another six. This is good striking. India needed this little impetus in this final phase. That might be six. That looks as though it hits the rope and the fall. It is three sixes in this final over. Momentum shift. Goes wide. That should have been the line more often in this final over. Wide. It's come off last ball of the innings. 
a challenging total posted by India in this second match 167 for five of their 20 overs So India make 167 for five from their 20 overs. Rohit Sharma, who else with 67 from 51 balls? Excellent contributions from Shikhar Dhawan with 23. Virat Kohli, 28. And Krunal with a superb 20 from 13 deliveries to finish the innings off with a bang. Two wickets for Thomas and Cottrell. One for Paul. Pretty good effort from the West Indies to pull it back. But that last over going for so many runs catapulted India one six seven for five so the target the West Indies need 168 runs from 120 balls at 8.4 runs per over new opening combination for the West Indies at the top Sunil Narayan yes he's had many opportunities at the top of the innings in T20 cricket in franchise cricket as a left-hander, very explosive, a boundary hitter, you would say. And this man, more conventional opener, has a good record, two T20 international centuries, both of them coming against uh, India. Slightly quicker. Oh, that was harsh. What a catch! It looked like it popped a bit on Evan Lewis. But look at the reaction from Bhuvaneshwar Kumar following through and diving away to his right to get the first wicket for India. Hit him high on the bat, just ballooning. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant from Bhuvaneshwar Kumar. But it's Evan Lewis. Another duck, it's two for one. Nicholas Puran comes to the crease. Bold, finally. The pressure just getting to Sunil Narayan using his feet, not making contact. Wicket number two for India. Just holding it back, through with the shot. And crashing onto the stumps. So the second wicket down for Windies or West Indies. It's eight for two. Bhuvaneshwar Kumar continues into his second over. Washington Sundar has done quite well against left-handers. Oh, what a shot! First ball. Confident shot from Powell. The slower delivery. Up in the air, but safely away from that fielder at mid-off. Cracking good shot. Nicely played. That's a boundary. Use the pace. Nicholas Puran. Nice shot, very, very good shot from Powell. Just waiting for uh, that length delivery. What a shot this is. Look at that, it's a length ball, nice big stride in front. And clean, very clean. Another fine shot. But it's over pitched again, that's the problem. Not where Powell intended to hit it by any stretch. But boundaries just leaking in the last couple of overs. Oh, this is a big one. It's going to be bigger. It's going to go all the way. That's six. Powell not messing around. Sundar just drifting on towards the pads. Powell playing the big sweep slog. Yeah, they're getting a move on now. Gets under that ball. Moon gets that leg right outside, gets that 
you know, goes with that spin and that little tucky wicket that we're playing on. The ball stops and grips a bit. There again, he keeps it short. Will this go for four? No, it won't. Brilliantly saved on the boundary. I think that's Cornell down there, is it? This isn't ramping it up, though. This is going to go all the way. It has. First bad ball of the over from Cornell. Powell doesn't miss out. Short swings through the line. And six over deep mid wicket. That is just such a powerful strike. Not for the first time he's hit it down there. This time there was a long off who was a spectator, and it's a no ball and a free hit. We're having a look at the replay here, and you'll see the power of, of Powell. Gets away with it. Excellent Yorker. Great comeback. Hasn't hit it perfectly. Excellent from Manish Pandey. Such a commonplace piece of athleticism and judgment in the modern game. Have a look at the replay here. We can see caught it um, not as well as you would have liked. He gave it the max, but um, we've seen this so often these days, the balance of individuals when they're taking catches on the boundary. For sure, that's magnificent stuff. We have seen uh, on the West Indies side uh, one of the best fielders, in my opinion, in white ball game. But Kuron is gone for 90, 84 for three. <laughs> Finger goes up. Another wicket for Colonel Pandya. They reviewed it. Ah, I think that could be just slightly. Just brushing leg stump. From where I'm at here, but he was given out, and normally when you're given out and his brushes, you're done. And Hawkeye will now give us the affirmative. Yeah, it doesn't look good. Doesn't look good for Powell at all. Such a crafty performer, Colonel Pandya. Vital runs towards the end of the innings, now critical wickets. The end of Rothman Powell, a good knock, 54 to him, 85 for four. Dropped it, it was a good effort from Virat Kohli. Full stretch to his left. That's due to the, the, the wind factor that's here today. Uh, all of a sudden, the weather's just changed dramatically. And as you spoke about the clouds earlier, look at that. It's looking rather uh, dismal at this particular point. So I guess I uh, right call. And so when the lightning and the rain came, West Indies had crawled along to 98 for four from their 15.3. A brilliant 54 from 34 deliveries for Powell. And poor and 19 from 34. But those two wickets from Krunal right before the lightning dragged the players off the field really did look to have won the game for India. And those two wickets for Cornell. Two for 23 from 3.3. Very wise, very clever bowling. A wicket for Sundar and a wicket for Bovi. And player of the match was Cornell Pandya, of course, with those 20 runs and those two wickets as India wrapped the game by 22 runs of the Duckworth Lewis in the end. There we go, the 167 for five for India. Too much for the West Indies, who were behind on the duck with Lewis by 22 runs when the lightning came. 98 for four they were. It just wasn't enough, and India went into a 2-0 lead in this series. Hope you enjoyed this edition of the highlights. Until next time, it's goodbye.